All right, good afternoon. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Seekin 12 volt 100 amp hour troll motor battery. Um, about a month ago, I did a video talking about how long a 100 amp hour battery will last in your fully rigged fishing kayak. And uh, ever since then, I had a few other manufacturers wanting to send me batteries to test and review. But uh, this battery here really got my attention because this is a compact 100 amp hour battery. And a big difference there is weight and size. Um, you know, a lot of your 100 amp hour batteries out there are too long to fit in milk cartons. Um, this battery here will fit in a milk carton and has a little extra room on each side as well. That's really nice to be able to do that because there's a lot of people out there that use milk cartons and kayaks. But uh, another thing there is weight. Um, most of your 100 amp hour batteries out there weigh anywhere between 29 and 31 pounds. This one comes down to 22 pounds total, which is just a huge weight savings in my book, especially when it comes to a fishing kayak. You know, anytime you can shave a pound or two off your fishing kayak, it really helps out. But coming to the battery has uh, two handles here on top. And like I said before, you just really notice that weight savings right off the bat. It's just a really light battery. And uh, I've been using this now for about four fishing trips and just taking it in and out of the kayak. I've just really been impressed with that weight of the battery. But uh, coming down here, you got uh, five studs. You know, uh, I don't care how good you are. You're going to lose one at some point. I know I have. But uh, they gave you three more just in case you do. But another thing is it has a Phillips head there on top. You know, a lot of times you have to have your socket or wrench to tighten and loosen these with. And, uh, you know, a lot of times you'll drop in water or just forget to bring it. So being able to have that option to be able to use a screwdriver on that is really nice. Another thing is uh, you got these little toppers here you can put on your plus and minus. Kind of helps protect it from shorting out. And another thing, you got your owner's manual here. has all your specs in it for discharge and charging. And like I said, uh, I've been using this battery for about four fishing trips now. Really been impressed with it, the weight of it. Just You'll notice that right off the bat, using it, taking it in and out of your kayak. But what we're going to do now, we're going to take it back to my tank well, and I'm going to show you my river fishing setup. All right, so coming back here, you'll notice the black pack is gone. Don't worry, the black pack isn't going anywhere. I still use it and love it. But uh, this is my shallow river fishing setup. And my ideal here was to just cut out any kind of weight that I can. Uh, when I got this battery, I found out the size of it, the weight of it, and I was like, you know, this will be a absolutely perfect battery to do for river fishing. Um, so this is a normal size milk carton this way. It's a little bit longer this way. But this battery fits in here perfectly. You know, if you got a normal size milk carton, just a little bit shorter, you still got some storage area right here for your tackle. I uh, just really like this longer one here. You can get these on Walmart for around $11, $12. Um, just got a lot of storage room right here for your backpack, tackle, whatever you want to put there. But uh, just really been impressed with this battery, the size and weight of it. Just, you know, doing something like this, shallow water river fishing, cutting back on that weight, just really nice. And so switching from uh, my other battery, my black pack, going to this battery and this milk carton, I saved a total of 18 pounds total. That is just a humongous weight savings in the kayak, uh, especially for going through them shallow water areas. And, uh, you know, a lot of times we got to get out of the kayak, pull it through them rocky areas, and it just makes that kayak so much lighter to pull through them areas so much easier. But I uh, got these here on Amazon for about $18. Just really nice uh, uh, rod holders there. Got a bungee cord in here. This is the same way I strap my black pack in here. And I use the same clips. So uh, when I'm done river fishing, I want to go back to lake fishing. I can just put the black pack right back in here, be ready to go again. That's something that uh, I really learned over the years of kayak rigging. Try to make things swap out to suit whatever kind of fishing you're wanting to do at the time. You know, if you can just make it swap out easily, like I did this right here, just makes life so much better. You know, you, six months from now, you may be wanting to do river fishing, then go back to uh, big lake fishing. You know, just being able to swap stuff out on your kayak makes it really nice. Um, I did take a little bit of weight off the rudder. Um, I took a little bit of weight off the troll motors up there, just kind of cut some aluminum off of it. 
but I couldn't talk myself into taking a fish finder out. <laughs> it's just hard to go without a fish finder, you know. Uh, over the years, it's just something that you look at all the time. When I first got this kayak, um, I probably took it on two fishing trips and then I put a fish finder on it. <laughs> I just gotta have the fish finder. All right, so that's gonna bring this video to an end. Um, like I said earlier, I've just been really impressed with this battery so far, mostly the weight savings of it. Um, you know, I've been using full size 100 amp hours for a long time now, and I didn't really think that it would make that much of a difference. But, you know, after you carry it in and out of your house, your shop, pick it out and out of your kayak a couple dozen times, you uh, really notice a difference. <laughs> but like I said earlier, anytime you take out any kind of weight, you know, on them shallow water fishing trips like that, and, uh, you know, you're pulling it over in rocky shows, shallow water areas like that, it just makes life a lot easier, and it just makes your fishing trip more fun. That's what it's really all about. But uh, like I said earlier, if you got any questions or comments about the battery or the uh, milk crate setup that I showed you there in the back, just drop a comment and I'll get back with y'all as soon as I can. I will link this down in the description and the milk carton setup as well. As well. Um, like I said, if you got any questions or comments, I'll get back with y'all. Appreciate y'all watching. Till next time.